a blessed day to you all my viewers and subscribers welcome back welcome back to the channel thank you all for checking this video out hope you guys are enjoying the weekend hope your saturday is going well so far all right so a couple of stories i would like to zoom in on in this one now earlier today we would have seen where the uae they were able to easily brush aside new zealand in a t20 game so we're going to go through um that give you a recap of how it went and we're also going to talk about the game that is set to play later on tonight the st lucia kings they are down to play the guyana amazon warriors now earlier today we should have had st kitts and nevis patriots versus trinibago night riders but after three overs they had to call that off because of rain so just give a listening ear until the end we're going to talk about the game that is set for later on tonight going to give you my pick three going to call it pick three where i will highlight a couple three players from each team that i am looking forward to seeing so just give a listening ear man hit that subscribe button if you have not yet subscribed and also leave a like on the video all right so let us kick things off with uh this new zealand versus uae then we will go down into the st kitts and nevis uh down into the guyana amazon warriors versus the kings so new zealand my viewers they were heavily defeated by the uae um actually you know uae they won the game by seven wickets with 26 deliveries to spear yes so the new zealand team they batted first they scored 142 for eight of their 20 overs 142 for 8 of 20 overs and you know we had mark chapman he was the top scorer in the middle order there he made 63 and uh we also had james nisham who got 21 and at the top there chad uh also scored 21 but apart from those guys nobody else was able to get into double figures as the uae bowlers were able to have their way so 142 for 8 bowling for the uae um you know we we would have seen khan uh as of khan he took uh he took three for 20 from his four overs uh also he had support from mohammed ula he took two for 16 from four overs and <clears throat> you know a couple of other bowlers picked up a wicket a piece so that is how the bowling went for the uae as they were able to bowl um, to restrict New Zealand to 142 for 8. Now, when it was time for the UAE to bat, they lost um, Sharma at the top there cheaply. He faced three deliveries and was removed without scoring. But Mohamed Wazim, you know, the captain, he stood and he made 55 from 29. You know, he was um, strongly supported by Asif Khan, who was left not out on 48 of 29 with five fours and one six you know wazim he scored 55 from 29 as i said four fours and three sixes in the mix there as they were able to chase down that 142 they made 144 for three and that uh they took 15.4 overs to get that no tim Saudi, the captain he took one he took one for 32 uh satna he had one for 26 from his three overs kyle jameson had one for 30 from his three overs as the uae were easily able to get across the line so that is how that game went my people so the series is now it's a it's a it's a three match um t20 series it's now tied at one apiece new zealand won the first game and the uae won the second game to set up the third game to see who is going to get that one so looking good there yeah man shout out to the uae all right so later on tonight the plan is to have a watch along. Hopefully, I will be able to do that watch along as the Guyana Amazon Warriors are set to take on the St. Uh, Lucia Kings. Now, before we go down into that, let me just give you a quick update on how things went in the TKR versus Patriots game earlier today. St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots, they were the ones um, bowling. Trinibago Knight Riders, they were 19 for 1 after 3 overs. Then came the rain. You know, Guptil, he was removed by Sheldon Cottrell. He was bowled by Cottrell for 11. Mark Dale was there on 2 and Tradic Walton was on 1. So that is, how, uh, that is all the play that they got in that game there. So, 
you know, not much to talk about. So we are going to quickly move on over to the Guyana Amazon Warriors versus the St. Lucia Kings. That is how, um, that is, that is, that is what we are uh, expected to see later on tonight at 7 p.m. Just to remind you of the squads, uh, Guyana Amazon Warriors, they will be led by Captain Imran Tahir, Vice Captain Romare Shepard, you know, Shimran Hitzmaya, Gerbas is also there, Odin Smith, Romare Shepard, Azam Khan, She Hope, Gudikish Moti, Duane Pretorius, Kevlar Anderson, Kevin Sinclair, Kimo Paul, Shandopa Hemraj, Ransford Beaton, Matthew Nandu, and Jonah Sinclair. So quite a few uh, Guyanese in that team. There are only a few players that are not uh, local. So, you know, that is that is the squad there. Let me just give you the, the St. Lucia King squad. Just remind you, we have seen them a couple of times already though. They are led by Captain Faf Duplessis. They have Johnson Charles, Sean uh, Williams, Alzari Joseph, Raston Chase, Jair McAllister, Sikanja Raza, Peter Hatsuglu, uh, we have Raja, uh, we have Raja Pakatsa. Uh, uh, he's a temporary re replacement for Chris Soul. Chris Soul is still there, so Chris Soul is there. Um, Russian Primus Royal, that's Javier Royal. Uh, Sadrak Descartes is there. Kyrie Pierre, uh, Leandro Julian, Matthew Ford. We have Kimani Milinos and McKenny Clark. So that's the squad there. And as I said, I am coming up with this new thing where. Prior to each game, I'm going to give you three players. Not necessarily three young and upcoming players or not necessarily three players that are, that, that are established already. Just three people that I personally believe will have an impact in that particular game. And as, I, as, as we go along with different games, we'll probably see it's, you know, it's going to be changing. Not the same three people every time. So I'm just going to go off guts feeling and I'm going to give you three people that I think will impact the game Um. The, as as they go along, all right. Uh, obviously, one would expect that if 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 uh, Saint Lucia Kings playing Faf Duplessis, and you know, is expected to affect the game. So every now and again, I might leave out Faf and just go for somebody else just to keep the thing going. So those are the squad, my people, and you know, for the for the for the Guyana Amazon Warriors, um, these are the guys that I'm expecting to. If they are in the plane eleven to really put up a, 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 a good a good thing. So I am going for Gerbas, you know, Ramanola Gerbas, Ramanola Gerbas. I am I am looking at him to get um to to, 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 to get some runs in this game. Uh you know, let me see where's Kevin Sinclair. I am looking at Kevin Sinclair to bowl a good for a good uh, spell. You know, so Kevin Sinclair and um who else are going for now? Imran Tahir and Shemran Itmeyer, those guys are a given. So, uh, let's go Goody Kishmoti. So, if they play those two spinners, I'm going Goody Kishmoti, uh, Kevin Sinclair, and um, Gerbas. Those are the players that I am going with, uh, that they are going to be the ones to really affect the game for, 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 for Guyana in this one. Alright, for the St. Lucia, for the St. Lucia Kings. I am going with um I am going with uh, da, 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 da. St. Lucia Kings. Matthew Ford once again. You know, expecting him to get uh some, some work in. Uh let me see. Da, 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 da. Don't want to be picking the same people over and over. Kimani Milenius, if he gets an opportunity tonight, I am backing him to get some <coughs> to get some runs. So backing him uh Kimani to get some runs in this game. And uh also back in uh, Alzari Joseph to, 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 to get a couple of wickets, you know. So few of them are, you, you, you expect them to really do well. But Kimani Milinus, as I said, is a, I, I am backing him to get the job done. If he's still in this, if he, if he still plays, right. Um, and, and then Alzari Joseph, as I said. And, um, you know, those are the guys that I'm looking forward to seeing uh, do, doing some work there. Matthew Ford once again to do some work with the ball. So that is basically it, my people. I am not going to draw this one out any longer. I'm just going to go ahead and continue mourning after what Manchester United did against Tottenham earlier today. Jaja. Anyways, if the game is up and running later on, just make sure you are staying, staying tuned to the channel. So if we are going live, you will be able to see that. Big up, Zane.